Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, you will learn how to export and import modules and reuse them inside of another files. But as always, before we do that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. In the previous video, we did create this app component and now we will look at how to split this code into multiple files and import them into this app.js. The first thing we'll do, we will need to rename this to index. That's usually the entry point on most applications or websites. And then we'll need to change the entry point inside of the webpack.config. That's index, refers to our index. And now we will create a new file. We'll call it app.js. And inside of the app.js, we will paste the app component from the index.js. So we'll cut it from there and we'll paste it inside of app.js. Because this is a React component, we need to also include in this file React. Okay, so we can copy and paste this import statement. So we import in React, then we're creating the app component and then we need to export it. Okay, so this export default app we'll make sure that we can now reuse this component inside of other files. So let's try to go to index and import the app the same way. Import app from dot slash app should point us to the right file. Should make this file available inside of the index.js. And if we hover over and press command, you'll see the import statement. So here, in VS Code, you can preview what are you actually importing. And when it points to the right file, then it means that uh, the file is linked correctly. Okay, so I save the file, I quit the build and run it again, just in case, because I did some Webpack config changes. And let's see if this imports the file. We see the same HTML and there is no React or console errors. So the import works fine. So remember, you need to export default app and then import whatever the name of the exported module is. And now we've got it imported inside of another file. Another way how to export modules and components would be to just simply type in export and remove this statement. Now this app is available for importing. So I'll save this file and we would need to do adjustment, but I wanted to show you the error that you would come across in the browser. So we've got the Webpack compiling without any errors, but then in the browser, we've got this react create element type is invalid, expected a string. And that means that you likely forgot to export your component from the file it's defined in. Okay, so if you come across this error, then going back to the Visual Studio Code and making sure that you wrap this in a curly braces, and that way the app will be imported from the app. So now we're looking for just app component or app export statement from within a file. Okay, so if I refresh the page, you see that everything's working back again and we're importing the file without the default export at the bottom of the page. We're only exporting it using the export in, in front of the constant. Okay, so you might see this if you look through other websites, other React components, you see that some of them are wrapped inside of the curly braces and some of them are straight. And I wanted to show you both. And that's it all for today. Now you know how to import and export modules. And next time we will cover the props, how to pass props between components and how to validate the data using React prop types. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, or watch the previous React and VS Code tutorials. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.